Hi, this is Leslie Haas with What's Minor Micro BT, and with me today is David Pence. And we've just had some exciting news. The M30S is now out. We know what to expect um, and will be available for order in just a short period of time. So, David, a lot of people are sending emails and asking questions about they have the S9s, but they want to get the M30S because it's now the fastest miner in the world by far. That's right. So what exactly do they need to do to be able to upgrade to the M30S? Yeah, so um, the old uh, S9 is about a 1400 watt device mm -hmm. and uh, it runs typically on a 220 volt, uh, 230 volt scenario. So it turns out that the uh, the M30S also runs at 220 volt, 230 volt. So they both have the same voltage. It's just that the uh, M30S takes more power. So mm -hmm. the M30S takes about a thousand watts more than the uh, S9, but it provides about uh, five or six times the terahash. Right. So and it's a lot faster. Oh my gosh, it's, it's much more profitable. So uh, what you're going to want to do is that the M30S that are shipping to the Americas mm -hmm. actually come with a cable. Most competitors don't come with any cables. You just have to get your own cables, five, ten dollars, right. and you figure it out. But the M30S comes with a cable, and it has. Um, you guys can Google this or look it up, or we can throw some videos up on that kind of show you a picture of it. Mm -hmm. But it comes with a C19 plug for mm -hmm. the for the uh, miner itself on one end, and on the other end it has a C20 plug. And so that C20 plug plugs directly in to any of the new PDUs. Most of the new industrial PDUs coming out, mm -hmm. the power distribution units are ready to go. Any data center anywhere in the world already uses C19, C20, it's stock. So we're actually going from kind of homebrew power plugs to data center power so plugs. industrialized. Right. But uh, you do have to get an adapter. If you're on the old homeschool stuff uh, from the S9 days, you can get a little adapter for about three or four dollars that converts that C20 into, you know, the other plug. Okay, that's easy enough. And, and where would someone get that adapter? Uh, we'll put a link on our, on our website. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. If you would like to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions for David, myself, or the rest of our team, please leave a comment below and we'll be sure to get an answer. Thanks so much for tuning in.